For KPOL and Contact Mission, I'm Andrew Kirshner. How should we treat other people? What is the standard by which we should decide how we interact with others? These questions probe at the very heart of ethical behavior. For Christians, one of the best ways to determine our behavior is to look at the behavior of Jesus Christ, the central figure in the Bible and the centerpiece of the Christian faith. Within ethical studies, the practice of looking at a key historical figure as a model for contemporary behavior is common. Many historical figures serve as moral exemplars, ethical examples for adherents of various faiths and ideologies. For the Christian, Jesus Christ is our moral exemplar, and we decide to follow his ethical lead. This process is known as imitatio Christi. The Christians are to imitate the Christ. A simple way to remember to do what Jesus did is to ask a particular question when faced with an ethical situation. The question designed to prompt the Christian to Christ-like behavior is this. What would Jesus do? By asking the moral exemplar what he would do when faced with how to treat other people, the Christian asserts Jesus in the role of primacy and reaffirms his decision to act as Jesus acted. So often, we want people to act differently than they do. People can hurt us, disrespect us, stifle us, reject us, even ignore us. But before we become angry with how other people act, we should consider ourselves. Here's an important reminder. Don't be angry that you cannot make others as you wish them to be, since you cannot make yourself as you wish to be. We know how we wish to be. The Christian desires to be like Christ, and yet each one of us falls short. Each of us knows how we wish to be, and each of us knows how we wish to be treated. No, we cannot make others treat us how we wish them to treat us, but we can treat others how we wish to be treated. This principle of treating others as we wish to be treated is known as the golden rule. Jesus formulated the golden rule this way. Do to others what you would have them do to you. He says this in Matthew 7, 12. The simplest sentence is actually the highest ethical standard ever recorded, and yet it's also the most misunderstood ethical standard ever considered. Let's evaluate some misapplications of the golden rule. Contrast zoomed in concrete specific wants versus zoomed out abstract general wants. I like philosophy books and vanilla ice cream. If I zoom in on my very specific concrete wants of philosophy books and tasty vanilla ice cream when considering how to treat someone else, I might reason that since I want a philosophy book and vanilla ice cream as a present, I should give a new philosophy book and vanilla ice cream to someone else as a present. I'm treating them the way I want to be treated, aren't I? But if I zoom out to my very general and abstract wants, things change. I want to be given what I like when being given gifts. What would Jesus do? Jesus would treat the person the way Jesus himself would want to be treated. If I am to follow Jesus as my moral exemplar and treat others the way I want to be treated, when giving a gift, I should not give a person the specific things that I like. Instead, because I enjoy being given the things I like, I should give someone else the specific things they like. By zooming out away from my specific concrete needs to my more general abstract wants, I avoid caricaturizing the golden rule into a silly little maxim. When giving gifts, the golden rule is not about my desire for books or ice cream. It's about my desire to get what I like. Jesus was keen to put a positive spin on ethical treatments of others. The silver rule is that I should not treat others the way I do not want to be treated. It's a higher standard indeed to consider one's positive desires. No one's, not just one's negative desires. This means that in order to implement the golden rule, I must think about what other people desire. The world of ethical behavior towards other people goes far beyond giving and receiving gifts, however. Ask, what would Jesus do? Jesus would treat others the way he himself would want to be treated. Therefore, I should do likewise if I'm imitating Jesus. Overall, I want to be treated with tolerance, respect, and love. This means that I should treat others with tolerance, respect, and love. 
There's a difference between what is known as classical tolerance and what is known as contemporary tolerance. Classical tolerance is accepting a person even when you disagree with his ideas. Truth is necessary for classical tolerance. I may disagree with another person's position, but I can still accept that person as valuable. In fact, all classical tolerance requires disagreement, otherwise we're simply agreeing. To tolerate someone is to put up with someone with whom you disagree. Contemporary tolerance, however, is not really tolerance at all. Contemporary tolerance instructs us to accept the person unless you disagree with that person's ideas. It plays out like this. All people are acceptable unless they vote for a different party or hold a different view, and then that person must be canceled. I want to be tolerated even when I hold a contrary position, so I will classically tolerate others when they hold contrary positions. I may decry those contrary positions and point out why they're wrong without wanting to see those who hold such a position be canceled. I also want to be treated with respect. Respect involves esteem and deference. Truth is necessary for respect. Since I want to be esteemed and deferred to when I have superior expertise, I should esteem and defer to others when they have superior expertise. But I also want to be loved. Love includes care, concern, valuing, and affection. And truth is necessary for love. Since I want to be cared for, shown concern, valued, and shown appropriate affection, I should care for, show concern for, value, and show appropriate affection for others. The golden rule is not reciprocal. Reciprocity is retributive in nature. Treat others as they treat you. Rather, the golden rule is initiative in nature. Treat others as you want to be treated. Do not wait to see how others treat you and then respond in kind. Rather, proactively treat others as you would like to be treated. The golden rule requires a shift in perspective. I must learn what others want. I know the general zoomed out abstract ways in which I want to be treated, but I also like to be treated in the specific ways within those general categories. This means that I should learn the specific ways, if possible, that other people want to be treated. Rather than being self-centered, the golden rule is the standard of ethical behavior that looks for the good, generally, of others. And it even tries to learn the best ways, specifically, to treat people well. So how should we treat others? Ask, what would Jesus do? For this is a fine initial question to prompt action. Jesus taught that we should treat others the way we would have them treat us. If you live by this ethical standard, you will contribute to bettering ethical treatment around the world. Give it a try. For KPOL and Contact Mission, I'm Andrew Kirshner.